god. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh god, that feels pretty good. That feels pretty good. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh god. This is a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one, guy. Whew. Stay down, stay down. We'll grind this meatball in. Here we go. Holy shnikes, guy. I thought I got a bite earlier. It was like as soon as it landed, that was kind of how this one went. It landed, couple handle cranks. That's a nice one, dude. Oh, dude. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, dude. Oh, my God, guy. Look at that. That's a good one. Oh my god, that's a nice one. Let's get this, get her some water while we grab this scale. Oh dude, look at that. 6.9 pounds. Just a shade under seven. Oh, that's a giant. That is definitely bigger than I expected. Look at how big that one is. Look at that. Now that I'm looking at her. Almost a seven, dude. Let's get her back in. Get her released. That was excelente. Get that water moving. You can see there's a lot of wind. A lot of wind happening today. All right. And then we let her go and she swims off, dude. Hell yes. All right, man, we just caught that. That was a good one. That was a good, that was a solid giant for me. I mean, just under seven pounds. That's, that's a hell of a fish. We got the six inch. I think it's the, it's the six inch, but it's the fatty trash fish. And uh, I'm a big fan. I'm, I'm a big fan of this bait. I only bought a two pack a couple years back. This is the second one. So as you can tell, I burned through the first one, but they do last a while. You know, I fished this one quite a bit. Um, you can see the tail's got a tear in it. Like, it's got some teeth marks on it from prior fish, not just from that last one. And the one thing I will say that I did, because I, when I first started fishing them, I definitely missed a few fish. Um, this hook cavity is super deep. Uh, when you get them and you rig them up, if you don't, like if you put the hook in, you can squeeze the hook all the way down and you'll see this bottom weight will be sticking way down and the hook will be way down in the bait, like somewhere down here in the halfway point where, will be where your hook point is. So it's gotta like come up out of all of that. So the one thing that I did, you know, once I realized that I kind of cut up a spent worm that I had and I basically glued it in this cavity and I glued it to the front end mostly. So basically the hook point kind of rests on the extra plastic that I added. So the hook point's really not that far under in that cavity. Even though there's a lot more of the cavity back here, the hook point just kind of rests and it keeps it kind of towards the top of the bait. Still plenty weedless, it's still, you know, still plenty, you know, it's still not exposed in any way and it fishes great. It doesn't pop out at all, like the, the hook stays pin really well but it just helps it just helps because you want that hook point coming out if you don't add that plastic and again this is my first pack of trash maybe i buy the next pack and it's different and the hook cavity is not as uh not as deep but i'm just saying for my sake you saw me catch that fish it was worth it because i know i have a lot more confidence that my, i'm good i'm getting better hook penetration now because that hook is towards the top of this this bait to the top of that cavity so just something to take note other than that i love this bait i drag it along the bottom i use it like a big worm i'll drop it down all the way to the bottom and just slow creep it on the bottom and it works great that way i've caught fish doing that it's an awesome weedless swim bait golden shiner color because i live in florida Booyah.